I watched Andy growing up as a DJ, you know, playing amongst, like, you know, before he was explosive, you know, but there was something special going on with him. I mean, when he came in the game, he was a kid, you know, but he had a lot of power. There was something different about him that, you know, people noticed. Throughout the industry, everyone de the, is the DJ's DJ as well as the people's DJ. It's, um, I don't know, it's quite remarkable, really, to what, what you can do with, like, two, three pieces of vinyl and, and a set of decks. It's like it's so quick, so fast, it's, it's unbelievable. And I was trying to explain what it is that Andy C does, and it's actually very hard to put into words. I mean, they, they don't call him the executioner for nothing. very serious about what he does, do you know what I mean? He takes it really serious and for me he's pretty inspirational. He can touch all genres of drum and bass and it works. Somehow he just always seems to get it right. It's just making it interesting, you know, he'll, he'll play 16 bars on track and before you know it there's another track in and there's another track, there's another track. It's just something he's developed over the years. He was the first person to really take it out there to the world, you know, and say, look, this is drum and bass, check it out, you know. So he opened the doors for us to be able to kind of get on and do what we do. I think he just wants to keep, you know, the, um, the energy level there when he's playing out. And just, you know, and he's, he's, he's always kind of, kind of competing with himself to, to take it to the next level and not, not make it get boring for himself, you know. The fact that he can make any room work is a talent. I want to have fun. I, I find mixing is still as much fun to me today as it always was. I mean, before I come out on this tour, I'm at home mixing in my studio for like five or six hours from midnight till 6 a.m. I just couldn't stop myself. I was thought, oh, I'll go in there for a couple of hours and then five in the morning, I'm still there mixing. There's, there's something special going on with him, you know what I mean? He takes his music very, very seriously. Yeah. Very, very seriously. It's like... Yeah. It's just like a kid with new toys. It's such a privilege to be up there spinning tunes, mixing them together. It's like an addiction. It becomes an addiction. You need it week in, week out because it's what I always wanted to do. And luckily, I'm doing it.